Go! All right. So, uh, what was your reaction when you first read the script? And what did you want to infuse to the characters since, you know, you experienced to live with a young man in your own life? So. I live with a young man and I've been through, you know, relationships that have been difficult as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, the character for me, that's, that's what stood out for me when I read the script. It was that I really understood Claire. I, I felt like I related to her and I knew other people would too. We've all been in that point in our lives where we're in a relationship and things are not going well and it, it does something to our to our soul, to our self-esteem, to our self-confidence, um, your worth, your value. And, um, and she finds herself in a vulnerable time in her life, which is why it's kind of easy for Noah to kind of get in there at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. What was the most recent challenge that you overcome and turned something to positive that was not necessarily positive at the beginning in your own life? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's tons of things. I mean, even if I think about my divorce and thinking about it at that time and like it was the most devastating thing that could have happened, my family breaking up, having kids, um, and then wanting to come out of that stronger, you know, wanting not to just survive, but to have learned something and to be a better person and to have grown. And I think I really did that, you know, and I, I wound up writing a book about it and doing a documentary about it for HBO. I mean, it was a real, um, just kind of important time in my life of, of, of growing. And, and I'm glad I turned it into that because it could have taken me the other way where I turned kind of like bitter and hopeless and let it get to me. And, and I'm proud of myself that I didn't do that. There's a sexy scene in the movie, and you just uh, shot also another very sexy video. Yes. Do you think you can go, and you have to go further as far as being sexy today than two years ago, than five years ago, or? Well, it's a different world, mm -hmm. and things, different things that were acceptable, are, are acceptable now, maybe weren't as acceptable then, and people kind of just, you know, push the envelope, as artists tend to do. I don't feel like I have to be more mm -hmm. sexy than I was before. I just do what I feel in the moment. Mm -hmm. um, the autobiography, um, what was the most surprising reaction from your people, your friends, family, after reading it? I think, you know, people, when they see you on the outside and they see what's happening, they think everything's so perfect all the time. You know, especially when you're in the public eye and you're always putting your best foot forward. Um, and, and putting that image out there. And to know everything that was going on in my heart and in my mind at that time, I think was very surprising for people. But I have to say that the best thing about it was that people really related to it and, and thanked me for sharing that and knowing like, if she can get through this, I can get through it too, you know? And Jennifer goes through those things too. So that's, you know, all, it, everybody's the same. And I think that really helps people and inspires people. And um, that's a blessing, that's a blessing of what I do.